G'day everyone, I'm Fletch Kelly. I'm joined here by Bill Cornell and we are of course from ABS Australia Beef. Welcome to the second episode of Talking Bull after such an overwhelming response to episode one. We're back here in 2019 doing it all again. Bill, it is autumn, of course. It's the end of the cricket season in Australia as we know it, but also beginning of the AFL season and the NRL season. We've got a really action-packed episode ahead for you. It's of course autumn, which means a lot of people are gonna be starting their autumn joining soon. So we're going to be recapping a lot of the new bulls, a lot of the main bulls, as well as a lot of the programs that we're involved in, the Hereford's True Genetics program, etc. So stay tuned, enjoy this episode, there'll be more later on in the year, and yeah, we hope you enjoy it. Absolutely, now come on Fletch, let's kick some goals. Yes! <laughs> <laughs> That's it boy, stretch it out, stretch it out. That's right, I'm going to do the right hand now, a little bit heavy extra. Beautiful little kick to you. Oh, missed it up. Well, he knows his place. Welcome back to episode two of Talking Bull. I'm joined by Bill Cornell. We're at the river here in Albury. You'll notice that we're wearing our Beyond Blue and Breast Cancer Network Australia hats. Two very, very, very important and very good causes. Bill, what are they all about? Right, what we're doing, Fletch, is that at ABS we've actual fact donated to both charities for producing the hats. If you wish a hat, please give us a call. And also there's an uh, invitation inside for people to uh, also donate to these charities. Now Bill, I've been following ABS Beef for quite some time now, both while I was working part-time at uni and obviously since I've been with ABS. I doubt I've seen the depth of ABS catalogue and the depth of the bulls quite this good in my life. Um, it's quite extraordinary times and very exciting time for, for both of us young bucks to be involved in the ABS program. A bull that we recently uh, purchased down at Landfall actually last week, in fact, Landfall Newground N90 is a pretty impressive bull. What do you reckon, Bill? Oh, Fletch, unbelievably impressive bull. Uh, you know, the reports came back from when you went saw him in Tasmania last year and said that he was the gun. Uh, we caught up with the bull. When you, when you have a good look at the bull, uh, he's a Discovery son, which, you know, I was enjoying seeing Discoveries. But Discovery's got a couple of issues, and this bull really fixes up all of those problems. You have a look at the depth of his pedigree. Ten, the 10 cows back in this pedigree, uh, they're all landfall bred, nine of them have been donors. And the only one that wasn't a donor had nine live calves in the herd herself. So structural soundness, fertility, the landfall uh, brand, the landfall female maternal influence is just so strong in there. Flex, there's 280 calves that those families have put together, Absolutely. that family's put together on the way through, and then feel it, fielding the overall magnificent ABS lineup of Reality, Emperor, Infinity, O36, Reagan, just 88, just littered with power. And then you have a look at his indexes, you know, top 1%, growth, top Very 1 impressive. to 2%, yeah. yeah. Carcass, That's really fine. good, you know, yeah. high IMF as well. And good fats for everybody as well. So really, exactly. he covers every, an impeccable structure. Just, it was a bull we had to have, and that's why we, yeah. Paid at 75,000, which was the Tasmanian record, but so pleased to have him on board. Absolutely. I actually saw the bull by accident last year. Frank and I were having a look at land, uh, landfall Keystone heifers down there, and we had about an hour of daylight left, and we went, well, let's go check out the yearling bulls. And there was N90. He was ahead of the pack, even at the yearling age. So, yeah, very, very exciting times with this bull. Absolutely. And just finishing off, of course, is the feature of that uh, was the Keystone progeny down there as well. They yeah. featured really, really well. 20, but, uh, 20 sons averaged over 11,500, yeah. something along those lines. So just extraordinary. Yeah. He's doing a great job for the breed. Brilliant. Brilliant. Now, Bill, last, uh, last year after we filmed the first episode of Talking Bull, I actually went over to the States and saw all our bulls. Had a yeah. great 10 days away, went through some feedlot projects that we're running, but I had the opportunity to go to ABS and also to Origin. And when Good. I was at ABS, I saw the command bull oh, again. Yeah. So <laughs> we saw him the first time in January 27 and loved him. Next inspection, he was a little underdone, but when I saw him last year, he was looking ridgy didge. So he's a bull that kind of flew under the radar for the Australian market. He kind of lived in the shadow of LD Capitalist, I think it's fair to say. But the guys that have tried the bull and used the bull just love the calves, don't they, Bill? Oh, 
Absolutely, and, and look, we've got a couple of herds that used him extensively in commercial programs. Yeah, which was interesting. Two, yeah, 200 plus calves on the ground now. They just love them. In actual fact, they out of their heifers and they just think that they're as good as anything they've got on the place right now. But the bulls, actual fact, been out and about even the sea stock herd. Sydney show, there's going to be some rippers be there as well. Command, yeah. Yeah, so. Um, well, what's really interesting is you see that a lot of these commercial guys are retaining command sons to use as, as you know, herd bulls in their own herd. Back up bulls, so yeah. that's a testament to the bull himself. Absolutely. No, Fletch, he's a go-to bull. Absolutely. Go-to bull. Okay, everyone, soon you'll receive this uh, 2019 autumn beef update, either online, email, and in the hard copy in the post too. There's a few cool new bulls in here. Bill, the first bull I want to ask you about is Monumental. What do we think about him? Because it's pretty exciting. Oh, mate, really excited about Monumental. As you know, for about two or three years, we've been trying to get 3F Epic in. Yep. Uh, but now we've got Monumental. The next step on is three-star carving ease at ABS, about 300 progeny already on the ground. Really powerful in terms of his growth, high powered in terms of his carcass. But phenotypically wise, awesome. I mean, he was the Carlo champion, uh, people's choice uh, back in 2017. But yeah. now he's breeding on really well. Top, top uh, heifer at uh, the express sale the other day, made 100,000 and you know, he's, he's hot property, hot Absolutely. to go, and Siemens just turned up. So Which is good, he's, yeah. a, he's a definitely uh, a seed stock bull to get on uh, over 2019 and, and into the future as well. There's also another bull in there uh, by the name of Full Force. Correct. Yeah. yeah, Full Force is one fletch that we've been looking at for some time, about four generation ABS bred. Yep. Uh, Full Force, I really loved him. We went to collect him last year, which we did get some semen from him before the, semen, uh, before the year cut out. Uh, and then the Kiwis were there and they said, Bill, we want the semen. So Australia's now got semen in. We missed the time frame last year. But, you know, a bull again, super carving ease, comes from the Yons program. Uh, the reports back that Aussies have been down to Yons are the full force daughters are really, really performing very well. So yep. that's just a highlighted thing. Skin, uh, easy shedding and so forth. People will really enjoy the bull. Got an excellent set of figures and got the looks to go with it. So he's one to certainly have a look at, guys. Bill, I'm just having a look here in the latest autumn update. There's a go-to size page that we've included here. Obviously, Baldridge Command that we just spoke about. Another bull on there is Sijin Enhance. His latest EBVs are really impressive. Oh. and the reports on the progeny of Enhance and the overall look of Enhance and the phenotype and the structure has all been, you know, three ticks for everything. So we're really excited about what he's going to do for the seed stock industry going forward. Do you like him? Oh, absolutely, Fletch. And on last year's tour in September, really loved the phenotype of Enhance. The excellent, excellent structure on the bull is really good. And now the breed plans suck the figures up really nicely now. Super carving ease, got excellent growth, big ribeye, big scrotal too. Some fellas looking for a little bit more scrotal in the breed so Enhance has really got the phenotype plus the data behind him and look already in, at ABS he's gone to number two popular uh, registration bull that we use at the so. moment yeah no exactly so uh, yeah he's a bull certainly get on board and look a lot of people have seen the bull and everybody that sees him wants to have a go so that's why he's a go-to sire. Okay, Bill, a bull that we touched on earlier um, when we spoke about the landfall sale was Landfall Keystone. He's just becoming a remarkable bull for both the seed stock and the commercial industry in Australia. In terms of his phenotype, structurally extremely sound. He's as quiet as a Labrador. And when you get to his EBVs, top 1% for his indexes, a true curve bender. There's a lot of guys out there that are pretty afraid to add that big power frame bull to their program because of the whole birth weight issue. But he's got very, very low birth weight, big explosive 600 day growth. Um, it's quite remarkable what he's doing for the breed, in my opinion. Oh, absolutely, Fletch. And we've got the other things, as we said, sale topper at lots of sales that he's been into in, in his early phase. Yep. Uh, as you said, the growth up about 15 on his 600 day weight, so he's nearly to 140. Yeah. But he's still only 1.6 for birth and still got his gestation, short gestation, still got his carving ease. It's, it's fabulous. And then you keep on running down and have a look at his indexes, but even in his grain fed index, you know, he's increased by 22 points already. So he's just really smashing it. So a really a must do go to sire. Absolutely. And at the landfall sale, there were something like 20 sons or something that averaged over 11 and a half grand. So for a bull of that quality to come through our program, it's very, very exciting. And there's obviously a huge demand out there for the bull both in terms of seed stock and commercial herds. He'll be a staple bull for us in 2019 and beyond. Oh, absolutely, no doubt about that. 
Now, speaking of big power bulls, Bill, last year when I was over in the States, I had the opportunity to go to Origin, as I mentioned, and I got to see Titus and Black Magic, and they're big, big, powerful frame bulls, big frame score. But you expect a lot of those frame score sort of seven or eight bulls to be a little bit flat and slabby sided, but these actually had beautiful muscle expression, particularly Titus. Black Magic, beautiful structure. What do you reckon about them? Oh, great, great. Look, my favourite out of the two of them is obviously the Sire Black Magic. Long, long, long as a freight train. I always do a three tick system, but he's sort of got four and I've never done that before. So yeah. super long. And as you said, sometimes those bulls can appear a little flat, but yeah. you know, we still rated him as a B minus. Yeah. So, you know, frame seven plus, B minus, number one growth bull in the breed in the US. Good structure too. Absolutely. Yeah. So really a bull for people to get on board with. Hey, look, he's not the cheapest bull in the business, but he's so popular in the US, it's hard to do that. Exactly. And we've got six L female semen coming in a little bit later during the year. Good but uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I think he's a bull, particularly for the sea stock industry to really have a good hard look at um, a, a bull like black magic to sort of just do everything increase the size yeah, increase weight sure. now yeah. speaking of heavy muscled bulls um capitalist obviously a bit smaller than those two in frame but he has just been a superstar for us i mean you can't really say anything more about the bull we've inspected him several times he's an absolute ripper really quiet great structure and he's probably the most popular bull in australia for the last 18 months i'd say oh, i think so fletch just everybody that sees him loves him uh, the reports I'm getting all the time are great. Uh, just talking to a couple of fellas coming down the car on the way down and they were just telling me their capitalist calves are just fabulous. Yeah. And, and you're right, look, some of them aren't going to be quite as big as everybody, but they, everything in that regard, they make up for width, depth, Absolutely. muscle, and they're yeah. really fashionable sort of cattle. But you're right though, I predict, you know, by Chrissy time, he'll probably be the number one registration bull, I'd say. I'd say. He will be. Yeah.